Taurus, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, here with another tarot card reading for you. Had to change up the locations for today. I was at home watching my little cousin. Didn't want to leave him in the house by himself, but I think it's people there. So come out to the park, man. I got so used to doing tarot card readings out at the park that uh, it just feels weird. Even my first video was started upside down, <laughs> or just felt uncomfortable for some reason. So. I'm out at the park, not at not at my usual spot, the Tree of Life, but I'm uh, I'm at the Four of Wands, you know, Taurus energy. We like to get real comfortable, interest in Empress energy. Using the Light Seers Tarot deck today, I have a few oracles with me as well, the Romance Angels and the Moonology. We're gonna pull some messages from the universe to see what the what the universal energies are. What's the story for today? What's the therapeutic session? What is the collective currently going through? What energies are surrounding you? What's coming towards you? What's the advice? So let's get into it. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. A lot of message to spread. All right, so been working on my abundance myself at a new company. Again, more in line with Taurus Energy. Making sure the finances are good. Hopefully you had a good week. Grounding you today is the Four of Swords. So we have confusion here. This could be a confrontation, a mental confrontation, or some form of a, I actually had synchronicities um, all day today. Confrontation was one of them that was coming up here, change. So there could be change up in your thought process. Let's see what's distracting you at this time. Four of Wands. Whatever's grounding you here, my literally, um, my literal four of wands that I'm sitting in between of right now. But your foundation, you could be changing up your foundation or with five of swords grounding your energy today, you may be thinking of uh, changing up your, uh, the situation that's grounding you. You could be thinking of changing up your, your home life, changing up your relationships, changing up your, why am I getting families and business? So a lot is coming out here with the four of wands. So you're juggling or thinking of changing up things. It could be some type of confrontation at the home life. But you have two of wands following the four of wands. So yeah, you're thinking of moving somewhere. Uh, you could be thinking of traveling or someone is traveling towards you. This could also be daydreaming, watching you unawares, uh, looking out the window, of course. Basically what you see here in the car, but typically the two of wands symbolizes some type of uh, stagnation a balance, a peace. Um, could also be um, abstinence here. This is my abstinence card in the tarot, the two of wands. Wands are about your creativities and your sexual desires and your passions, your efforts or your energy to move towards something. So she's sitting down here. Something could be going on with your feet as well. Could be at some type of social event, gathering, or party, and maybe you or someone around you is not really enjoying themselves. Uh, it could be the energy that they're putting off. They could be confused or something that they're not used to. Maybe they can't dance. <laughs> or again, it could just be something new for them as well. Yeah, more of this type of energy. Uh, this is known as a, as the mother, someone very um, fertile. Um, why is she giving off this energy though? Two of Wands energy. Maybe she's wanting to travel or financially invest. You could be dealing with a mature individual or a mature situation. Maybe the foundation or the area. It could be like a mature gentleman's club. Not necessarily um, a strip club, <laughs> but more of a, a mature bar type situation. Uh, it could also be, again, it could be financial institutions. Could be the matriarch or the female boss around you that's helping you develop your ideas financially. Could be a form of a teacher, someone that's nurturing as well. Could be dealing with someone that's pregnant. Uh, this could be some type of ornament. I don't know if you remember like those fans that women hold at church or like the geisha, the fans that they use to fan themselves. So I'm getting cosplay, okay. A party, uh, like, um, yeah, like one of those big known uh, nationwide events like Supercon or whatever the case may be. I can't think, even think of the names. <laughs> I was so invested in these things in my youth. Like cosplay, uh, I, I never actually went to one, but like these big conventions where people dress up and things like that. Or it could be some type of financial event where people are teaching each other how to um, balance their finances or grow their monies. Could be dealing with pregnancy as well. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, an equal give and take. Admittance. This is a support system of somehow um, 
helping you out financially. You could be getting information from people uh, about how to grow your finances. And there we go, we got two, four, six. The six of Pentacles, that's also my uh, martyr card. Could be dealing with the Libra. So you're dealing with a, okay, so what the court card is showing here, because this is the only court card that's showing up in the reading so far. It could be dealing with an earth sign, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo here. Then we get eight of Pentacles, two, four, six, eight. Eight of Pentacles being financially so Okay, so it, I'm not sure if a relationship is coming in or someone is wanting to create some type of business partnership with you. You have two of wands and four of wands. And then we jump into the next suit, which is six of pentacles, eight of pentacles. They see you've been working hard and they want to help you put to a, put some type of effort into building some type of business maybe here with the core card, queen of pentacles. It could be a financial investor. Or you could be dealing with some type of mother figure here. What are the additional messages? Ah, we get her counterpart, the King of Pentacles coming up. Someone's definitely want to create some type of relationship with you here. This is the Twin Flame card. So we have a Twin Flame union, soul flate, soul, soulmate um, union here. Your divine counterpart. Definitely helping you ground yourself here. Finances, uh, gonna help you uh, reciprocate finances or build finances, maybe create some type of business. Whatever product you get out, people are gonna be purchasing it from you. Uh, the father figure here of uh, the King of Pentacles is someone very stern, someone very grounding, an architect maybe. Could be a male doctor. Uh, could be dealing with a female nurse here. Again, um, Capricorns, I'm sorry, Virgos are very health conscious. So this could be someone uh, in the health industry. Uh, with it being a man here, this could be some type of architect or some type of someone that, that lays down um, blueprints or foundations or something or something like that could be dealing working in the construction industry as well or they could be just um, developing some type of institution or foundation it could be a school I've seen men and their wives go into um, business with each other and develop uh, nursery schools with each other she would typically run the business and he would just sit at the front desk with his face to make sure people are not BSing her <laughs> Knight of Wands, very fiery energy here, very creative energy here. So you're putting your creative efforts, your sexual, everything derives from your, so you have your root chakra, which is grounding. You trust someone first, and then you get into the creativity of things. You put your, your even when you think about after you have sex, you're drained. You have, you have no more energy. So you're putting your energy, your sexual creativity into something very tangible here, some type of financial business or institute here. Maybe some type of uh, physical, um, I'm getting, I'm thinking physical therapy, but uh, I know that there's more out there. Could be dance, could be uh, some form of an art, um, some form of an art, any type of art. Could be music, could be, um, could be painting. Yeah, I got music because of the drums here. Yeah, something different as well. Something that are not, so you guys are putting a, together a business something out of the ordinary that people are not used to here we have the black horse of the family something that people are not used to or looking at look you look at look at as the outlier as most celebrities are uh, maybe it has something to do with uh, resting or um, journeying towards something some type of therapeutic vacation maybe you're a four of wands and a four of swords this could be a hotel maybe Maybe you're opening up a, a, a hotel. Why I'm getting Heartbreak Hotel. Is that a Monica song or a Whitney Houston call? Yeah, I think that's the Whitney Houston song. Wow. We were just talking about Whitney Houston uh, yesterday at work. <laughs> These financial institutions here. So synchronicities, four and fours. Yeah, they're wanting to build some type of uh, foundation or legacy is what I'm getting from you from the ground up. Okay, so they're starting from the ground and uh, they have elevated potential and maybe you're at the top. So someone, someone's providing the work, someone's providing the finances or however that may go. But they're definitely wanting, okay, you may be, someone may be taking on an apprentice as well is what I'm getting here. Apprenticeship. They may be, now what happens with twin flames and the reason why it's always often so difficult because they may come from different backgrounds, they may come from different religions, they may come from different uh social classes or maybe even age groups they're typically not one and the same and that's what makes it so good you take people need to become well-rounded relationships need to be well-rounded you take someone that's good at something and you can take someone else that's good at something and you bring them together and they become whole 
So this could be an age difference. This could be apprenticeship. Again, what I was saying with the twin flames, one person is typically older than the other person. Now, uh, an older person can learn, learn something from the younger person, again, bringing their own version of expertise into the situation. But someone has to be the leader. Someone has to be the follower. And they switch places from time to time. That's what always happens in the twin flame union. They both get uh, frustrated because someone has to teach the other. They have to hold the hand of the other. They have to enlighten the other. But you know that there's a spiritual connection there and some type of love relationship. Definitely a twin flame union, though, here. The four of wands. I'm sorry. Yeah, the four of wands. King of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. Sorry, I don't know why. So this person may have a fiery drive about them as well. I picked up the knight of wands. But you have the king of pentacles and the queen of queen of pentacles. Basically, the king of money, the queen of money, the, the king of finances and health, the queen of finances and health. Very structured and grounded individual uh, in the earth suit. So these, again, you could be dealing with a Virgo, uh, a Taurus or a Capricorn. Someone that or appears very grounded and stable or appears very financially well off or calm. May, it may appear very hard working as well. But yeah, with the Four of Wands, this is typically the uh, Soulmate Twin Flame card as well. So someone's helping. So there's a relationship that's abound here. There's a relationship that's about to get ready to come into union here. You're becoming each other's apprentice. Yeah, the marriage counselor here. The Hierophant is, is typically a preacher or a pastor that marries people. So there's definitely a union here. There's going to be a marriage here in equal give and take. The King, and, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles definitely delves in marriage. You see them holding the ring or holding the pinnacle, some type of engagement, some type of foundation being built here. It's going to last through the, uh, throughout the long run. The relationship is being built here. This is their family or their foundation, or this is how they feel when they're together. And this is the journey that they're going to set themselves on. The Hierophant, Taurus, Sagittarius energy, great learning and healing potential and, and anointing, a spiritual leader or guru. So that's what I have for you today as far as the Lightseer's Tarot. Are we going to pull some Moonologies? Let's pull some Moonologies here really quick. All right, Taurus. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we can continue to grow. We have Moonologies. Look at the, uh, the bigger picture. Yeah, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. We also have Capricorn, as we see here with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, Earth, Earth, both Earth energies. The end of a tough, tough cycle approaches. Could be learning something new about each other, or, or coming, uh, maybe learning each other for the first time, feeling each other out, and noticing that you may be different in some aspects, and starting to accept these things. Yeah, balance spirituality and practicality. Stop trying to control the issue. Be open-minded. There's spiritual strengths, there's financial strengths, and there's practical strengths. Balance things out. Make a practical plan. That's what earth signs are good at. And you guys are standing in very abundant uh, earth energy here if you are not a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. I mean, Taurus, Taurus reading, still standing in your energy. Grounding yourself here, working on your finances, working on grounding your relationships. Could be working on family as well. Maybe you're already together and you're working on children. Or deciding to go into business for you guys itself. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Cut out toxic bad habits and uh, codependent thoughts. Give each other um, space and room to grow. Again, twin flames are sometimes more like a moth to the flame. You spend too much time with each other, it can fizzle out. Or you can damage each other. New love. Could be a new relationship. Or it's, um, what, is it, what is it called when people are already married? And they renew their vows. Could be a renewal of vows here. Playfulness. Yeah. A renewal of vows of some sorts. Yeah. Exchanging love and exchanging gifts with each other. So that's all I have for you today, Taurus. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel as we continue to grow. Spread the message. Catch you on the next one. Peace.